Hello, 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 my friends, Caitlin here, and what's my Hogwarts house? So growing up, I was a huge Harry Potter fan. Like I read the first book when I was in fourth grade and my best friend and I would play our own like Harry Potter Hogwarts games where we were like characters inside of the books. One of the big things about Harry Potter is kind of wondering what is your Hogwarts house? And so everybody has like their own opinions and you want to take quizzes about what it is. And so I had always imagined myself as a Ravenclaw because I went to William and Mary, I was like top of my class and just always like reading books and learning and stuff. But when Pottermore first came out and there was like an official sorting hat quiz made by JK Rowling. I took that and I was actually sorted into Gryffindor and I was like, oh, okay, well I guess I can see this because Hermione is in Gryffindor, you can still be really smart and stuff. That makes sense. And then a couple years later they relaunched Pottermore and had like a lot more stuff on it and so I wanted to go back and look and found that I couldn't access my original account. So I had to take the sorting quiz again. I was like, that's fine, I'll just be Gryffindor again, obviously. But when I took it, I was actually sorted into Slytherin and I was like, what? <laughs> How can I possibly be a Slytherin? That just seems crazy to me. Okay, so the Sorting Hat says about Gryffindor, you might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart, their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. Okay, makes sense. So what does it say about Slytherin? Or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll make your real friends, those cunning folk use any means to achieve their ends. Generally, we think of Slytherin as like, cunning and ambitious, right? We tend to take that negatively. And I don't think that JK Rowling intended um, for ambition, cunning, resourcefulness to just be a negative thing. So what I wanted to do is to take a couple of quizzes online, including the Pottermore quiz again, and definitively decide with the internet as my witness what Hogwarts house I'm actually in. Because now people ask me what it is and I'm like, I don't know anymore. But we're gonna we're gonna do this and we're gonna accept whatever the results are. So first quiz is a BuzzFeed quiz because obviously BuzzFeed is the internet's foremost place to go for quizzes, right? <laughs> you've made it to Hogwarts, which means you've already bought a wand from Ollivanders. What material is at its core? Unicorn hair, of course. During the end of the year exams, you noticed that one of your classmates was using an enchanted quill. I feel like it'd be somewhere between encouraging the other student and then doing nothing just because sometimes I'm like, oh, just leave it alone unless someone else, you know, it's affecting me directly. Let's go with encourage the other student. <laughs> That's probably the Gryffindor answer. I think at heart, I want to be a Gryffindor is really what happens. You would be most hurt if a person called you ignorant. You're locked in a duel with a skilled opponent. They fire an unknown spell at you and you shout. This one seems like weighted to be Slytherin as like, evil. That's not cool. Probably expel her, honestly. I mean, disarm them, then they can't do anything. Which are these most accurately describes your relationship with your closest friends? Surrounding myself with people? No. <laughs> I mean, like, I am wary around new people, but that doesn't describe my relationship with my closest friends, so no. Uh, which of your skills are you most proud of? Definitely not to make new friends. We all know I'm very bad at that. Let's say I've absorbed new information. You're allowed a pet at Hogwarts. A cat, obviously. Choose a Deathly Hallow. Don't you have to choose the Cloak of Invisibility? Didn't we learn that the other two were like the bad ones? And finally, we know the Sorting Hat takes into account your preferences, so which Hogwarts house do you feel you identify the most closely? Let's do Gryffindor, because that's the one I felt like it. Hey, okay, see, see, now look at this. All right, so BuzzFeed says I'm Gryffindor. I feel like I've taken this before and I've gotten this like exact result. So who knows, who knows? This is why we're gonna take multiple and two out of three is what we're gonna go for. So the second one is gonna be this time quiz. It's like done by social scientists, yeah. A social scientist from Cambridge University to create a science-based quiz on which house best matches your personality. There is an important reason to face something that scares me. I will face it. Yeah, definitely, if it's important. I tend to manipulate others to get my way. Yes? I've used flattery to get my way. Not necessarily. If I'm worried or anxious about something, I will do or face it anyway. Yeah. I hate it, but I do. I see myself as, oh, definitely not disorganized or careless. I wouldn't want people to treat me as though I were superior to them, I guess, yeah? I will do things even though they seem to be dangerous. Well, it depends, like if I have to do them, yes. If I don't have to do them, not so much. I'm an ordinary person who is no better than others. I mean, I like to think of myself as special. Like, I don't really think that I'm really better than others, but somewhere in between. I tend to exploit others toward my own end. I, I don't really think so. 
I have used deceit or lied to get my way. Maybe, sometimes. Five. <laughs> I often push myself very hard when trying to achieve a goal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hufflepuff, what? I've never been for sorted into Hufflepuff before. Your personality shows a high degree of friendliness and humility, which are valued among members of Hufflepuff House. What the heck? Why, does, why did Pottermore sort me into Slytherin? All right, let's see what Pottermore says. Uh, we can't really do two out of three if we get a different answer on every one. Moon or stars? Stars. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try and open? A small pewter box, unassuming and plain. Hmm, this one? <laughs> I don't know. If you could have any power, which would you choose? Invisibility. Sometimes I already feel like I have that. Power to change the past. Ooh, I would be changed the past. Which of the fallen do you find most difficult to deal with? Honestly, I feel like maybe cold. I get so cranky when I'm cold. How would you like to be known in history? Caitlin the wise, Caitlin the good, Caitlin the great, Caitlin the bold. Either be great or bold. I feel like probably great is really where I would go. Left or right? Um, uh, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> see? I've now been sorted into three different houses. So Pottermore definitively sorts me into Slytherin. I, this is two different times that I've been sorted into Slytherin. But the other two quizzes I took had such a low percentage of Slytherin. One was 0.3%, one was 17%. But Pottermore says that I'm Slytherin. Let's try one more, tiebreaker, tiebreaker quiz. You're making a PowerPoint presentation for a class project. You take charge, organize everyone, and end up doing almost everything. <laughs> Probably. When you die, you hope to have achieved success and travel the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, achieve success. Which of these entertainment professions most appeals to you? The screenwriter. The storyteller. How do you flirt with someone you like? Not very well. <laughs> Probably trying to have a real deep conversation, which is why I'm bad at flirting. In high school, your favorite uh, extracurricular was, I guess, student club, because it was like dance. You get home from the corner store, and notice you were a little undercharged. Probably don't worry about it. Like, I'd feel bad about it, but I would be like, yay, extra dollars. Your idea of a worthwhile summer vacation is hanging out and catching up with friends back home? No. Parachuting or diving off cliffs? No. Guess a good book, because not many of these sound great. You hear that a girl in your class just switched to writing the same essay topic you've been working on since September. Present her from afar, but say nothing. <laughs> Probably. How do you get your time alone when you want it? Yeah, I, I found that I just like tell people. <laughs> I need to have Caitlin time, bye. When planning a group trip, you are the one who, it's either the first or the last one. I'm not very good at traveling, so it's difficult to like say that I would be the one who took the reins on travel plans. Let's be the backup leader. Who knows? I don't even know at this point. Oh my gosh, <laughs> guys, you would be a Ravenclaw. Oh man. Holy cow, guys. All right, I was all like, this is gonna be the definitive, definitive answer for my Hogwarts house. And all I have learned is that depending on which quiz I take, I get a different answer. So I don't know. I don't know anymore what house I should be in. My question for today is what Hogwarts house do you think I should be in? Because wow, I wasn't expecting this. I thought that maybe I would get Gryffindor on one and then Slytherin on the other two. So yeah, question for today. You've seen me answer these questions. What do you think my Hogwarts house is? And you can also tell me yours in the um, in the comments down below, but ah, oh, I'm so confused. I don't, <laughs> I just want an answer. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Remember that you can check me out on my other social media sites and there's a card over here that if you click on, will take you to my website. There's a form you can fill out if you wanna submit a question or video topic for me to make a video on or a blog on. So just check me out on all those places. Plus remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know the moment there's a new video. And I am just gonna go contemplate my Harry Potter world existence because I don't understand anything anymore. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>